Good morning and welcome to Garsington Opera's Monday Motivation. This morning we are looking at Engelbert Humperdinck's opera Hansel and Gretel and his sister Adelheit Vetter wrote the words to it based on the Grimm's Brothers fairy tale Hansel and Gretel. So we're in for a treat this morning with Aga Saruga Lugo is with us and Natasha Kamjani and this morning our guest singers today are Katrina Houston and Stephanie Lloyd. So we're going to say good morning to them. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Morning. It's so great to have you with us. Now you're going to be playing not just one role each for us this morning, which is fantastic. You're going to help us tell the story with playing some characters. And I'm sure over the years you two have played between you many, many characters in operas. And I just want to know this morning, what would you say is your favourite role you've ever played? Let's go to Stephanie first. Well, probably the Countess in The Marriage of Figaro. Um, she was my, my first big Mozart role and she's, uh, she's so much fun and uh, she's, she's an aristocrat, so she gets to tell people what to do, but she does have a lot of fun scheming with her maid, Susanna, as well. And that looks like an absolutely stunning costume you've got on there. And Katrina, what was your, what's your favourite role that you've played? Um, it would probably have to be the Queen of the Fairies herself, Titania from A Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, it was an absolutely stunning um, like setting and the, it was based on a cabaret style. As you can see, I've got a beautiful tattoo, fake tattoo on there and like glitter everywhere. And it was just really like really, really fun to play. Cool costume. And I can see there's a, a donkey in the background there. Um, lovely. <laughs> That's quite a nice thing to be doing. So we will see both of you later, like I said, singing to us this morning. So thank you for joining us. Now, I've got something to ask of all of you this morning because we're going to be thinking about going to sleep. And you'll find out later why we're concentrating on that because it's Monday motivation. I don't want you to go to sleep yet. But what helps you go to sleep? So is it your favourite storybook? Is it a song? Um, or is it a nice warm drink? And I want you to tell me exactly the details of it. So if it's a book, maybe it's the lion inside, or if it's a drink, tell me what sort of drink. So do send us your ideas because Aga is going to be using those a little bit later on. Now, I'm going to start the story and we're in a house in a forest and it's a broom maker's house. So I'm gonna show you from Garsington Opera's production, which you saw a little clip of earlier as the intro, the broom maker's house in the forest. And there are two children in that forest. You can see them there, Hansel and Gretel. And the family are really, really struggling. They're very poor. All they've got is a tiny bit of milk for the entire day or maybe two days. And Hansel and Gretel get super bored, start running around, fighting with each other like a lot of uh, siblings do. I know I used to with my brother in a playful way. And they spill the milk. And their mum is like, what are you doing? Can you all do that with your hands? that kind of really that feeling and she shoes them out of the house and she says right we've got no food now or drink go into the forest and try and find some strawberries and off they go into the forest from the broom maker's house and they get lost and their parents are absolutely worried about them and they start to look around them can you look around you in the forest that is the room that you're in look around you there and they start to get a little bit scared in this forest and they're lost. Have a look at them. They're lost here in the woods and we can see how frightened they're all oh, goodness. And there's shadows. Can you see that shadow in the forest holding their head? Let's hope that's in their imagination. Natasha, I think you might need to cheer us up. Make us feel a bit better in this forest. No problem. We'll get warm. We'll find our way through that forest and maybe we'll look for some strawberries on the way. OK, find a space. Let's get going. All right, we're going to start off, feet parallel, just a nice deep breath in. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Just take one arm in a big circle, get your shoulder warmed up, good. Bend in those legs and then turn the other way. We're going to get our arms warmed up, so we're going to be flying on a broomstick a little bit later on. Right, we're still in this forest, so we better start moving our feet. Let's get you through that forest. Big shoulder roll. 
big roll. Your elbows going as well. Huge. Take that to the into your hips. You bend your knees in your big circle. it's taken our minds off it and I definitely think dancing is such a brilliant thing to make you feel less scared if you're lost in a forest but also so is singing Aga hi Karen nice to see you everybody let's mix the two dancing and singing so let's sing a dance this is where Gretel is trying to encourage Hansel to really dance they're trying to cheer each other up it's a really great fun song and the first line is, brother, come and dance with me. So we're going to put hands on the hip. We're going to go, brother, come and dance with me. After four, one, two, three, four. Brother, come and dance with me. Excellent. Then we got, both my hands I offer thee. Beautiful. And again, one, two, three, four. Both my hands I offer thee. Fantastic, we put those two bits together. Brother, come and dance with me, both my hands I offer thee. One, two, three, four. Brother, come and dance with me, both my hands I offer thee. Then the next line is, right foot first. So what are we gonna do with a right foot? You can't see my feet, but you can see Natasha's. Right foot first, then you've got left foot then. Should we put those two together? Right foot first, left foot then. One, two, three, four. Right foot first, left foot first, left foot then, and again two, three, four, right foot first, left foot then, and then the last line is round about and back again, so you're going to spin round, two, three, four, round about and back again, fantastic, just as Natasha's demonstrating, so you've got right foot first, left foot then, round about and back again, should we have a go, one, two, three, four, right foot first, left foot then, and round about and back again, and again, two, three, four, right foot first, Left foot then, round about and back again. Excellent. Should we go from the top all the way through? Brother, come and dance with me. Both my hands I offer thee. Right foot first, left foot then, round about and back again. Here we go with the piano. Follow Natasha for the actions, or I will be on the piano. On to four. One, two, three, four. Brother, come and dance with me. Both my hands I offer thee. Right foot first, left foot then, round about and back again. Yes, well done, what an excellent dance. Over to you, Karen. Gorgeous. So are we all starting to realise how long we've been in this forest? We're less scared, but even after the dancing and the singing with the dancing, Hansel and Gretel are still feeling quite anxious and they really need to get some sleep if they're going to cope with getting lost and they need some help to get to sleep. And a Sandman arrives to help them. Here's a picture of the Sandman in Garsington's production. And you had to help them get to sleep. Yeah, lovely look. Actually, that's Hansel and Gretel. They're already asleep there, aren't they? And they're, they're guarded by some guardian angels. Now, 
I want to tell you about this week's design challenge with Rihanna Newman Brown because we looked at Nikki Turner's fantastic design of this opera and it was really clever because she designed it like a pop-up book so the images popped out and Rihanna has shown us how to make your own pop-up book like set of the forest and you can see it here so that closes and opens so do check that out on Garsington's YouTube channel because I would love to see your designs and tag us it's a really good one to make and you can make your own creations now Aga, I think we need to learn the song of this sand man this morning who sends them to sleep. So a sand man, it's like sending sleepy dust into people's eyes. It's what you clear out of your eyes in the morning, isn't it? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And don't forget, if you've got suggestions of things that you, that you need to help you go to sleep, please send them in and we'll be able to put them into the song. So don't forget that, please. So let's teach you the sand man song. It's beautiful, beautiful lullaby, lullaby that helps people to get to sleep. So you've got, the first line is, I shut the children's people. So you're going to go, I shut the children's people. And then you're going to do a little shush. Shh. Should we try that together? I shut the children's peepers. One, two, three. I shut the children's peepers. Beautiful. And then you've got, and guard the little sleepers. Shh. Have a go. One, two, three. And guard the little sleepers. Shh. And then this is my favorite bit. For dearly do I love them. Shall we have a go? One, two, three. For dearly do I love them. And then the last line is, and gladly watch above them. Can we do for dearly do I love them and gladly watch above them? Put those two, two bits together. For dearly do I love them and gladly watch above them. One, two, three. For dearly do I love them. And gladly watch above them. Beautiful. Can we put all that together? I shut the children's peepers and guard the little sleepers. What dearly do I love them and gladly watch above them. So I'm going to go to the piano and you're going to watch Natasha for the actions. And we're all going to sing and play together. Don't forget if you've got any more suggestions for how, how, how you, what would help you go to sleep, please send them in, okay? After three, it's nice and slow. One, two, three. I shout the children's sleepers. And God, the little sleepers. For dearly do I love them. And gladly watch above them. Gorgeous, everybody. Well done. Do we have some suggestions? I think I saw from Alex, I read a book, I read a book when I go to go to sleep. Should we, should we put that, I, I read a book, maybe should we, should we choose the book, Harry Potter, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's choose, let's choose the last, the last bit. You've got da, 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 da. So I read a book, 
Maybe Harry Potter with excellent actions from Natasha. Follow Natasha for the for the action. So I read a book. Maybe Harry Potter. For I read a book. Maybe Harry Potter. And then I just saw somebody said a sleepy podcast. Oh, how lovely, how lovely. So I listen to conversation, a sleepy, sleepy podcast. Well, then, Natasha, for the actions, I listen to conversation, a sleepy, sleepy podcast. One, two, three. I listen to conversation, a sleepy, sleepy podcast. A sleepy, sleepy podcast. Gorgeous, thank you. Over to you, what some fantastic suggestions. Over to you, Karen. Oh, are we definitely getting sleepy now? I hope everyone is. I think we need to go to Stephanie because Stephanie this morning is going to play the Sandman for us as her first role this morning. So make sure we're all going shh. And then let's hear from the Sandman. Playing from Stephanie's MacBook Pro. <laughs> to know. Thank you so much for singing the Sandman for us, Stephanie. And you won't know this, but you've got a ray of light shining down your face from the sun coming from behind. It's almost like she's moonlit, isn't it? <laughs> In the forest, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, before Hansel and Gretel go to sleep, they're definitely getting a bit sleepy. So can everybody from wherever they are do a big, big stretch? They're getting sleepy, but they always say, their evening prayer, don't they? So now I'm gonna call in Katrina as well. And they are gonna play Hansel and Gretel. And I think Katrina's playing Gretel and Stephanie's playing Hansel, am I right? Yes. yes. And you are gonna sing us, it's our first Monday Motivation duet. We're very honored. You are gonna sing us the evening prayer. Thanks so much. Thank you. Sandman was there, let us both say our evening prayer. When at night I go to sleep, forty angels 
Oh, look, they've definitely fallen asleep there. Well, I'm going to leave them asleep, actually. And just to say, I think from now on, we don't need those books. We don't need, Max tells us that he meditates for 10 minutes every evening. Don't need to do that anymore, Max, because you can just hear that beautiful duet. Thank you so much for that. And now I'm going to show you a picture because they get woken up by the dew fairy. Now you can see she has many alarm clocks there. So it's probably quite a rude awakening, I imagine. And uh, Katrina is now going to sing us what the dew fairy sings to wake Hansel and Gretel up. Thank you, Katrina. So she's gonna take it away. She needs to go off mute. Fantastic. Imagine all those clocks. I'm up with early dawning, and no lovers are morning. Who'll rise fresh as a daisy? Who'll sing its love lazy day? Is everyone awake? I think we are after all that dinging and donging. Fantastic. Now, when they wake up, Hansel and Gretel see the most amazing house. Here it is in the production. And what's exciting about it is it is made of sweets. And they think, hmm, that's nice. I'd love to eat that. Wouldn't we all like to eat an edible house? But what they don't know is that there's a witch that lives in this house. So we are going to get on our broomsticks now with Natasha. We certainly are. Here we go. Hopefully you've got a broomstick. If you haven't got one handy, don't worry. You can do it without. It's totally fine. We're off. We're swaying, pushing that dramatically side to side. Then you're going to stir as if you had a cauldron. Big circles, pushing round. Don't worry if you don't have it. Just do the arms. You'll be stretching up. And you're going to get on your broomstick, whether you have one or not. We're going to fly. We're with a witch and we're flying. I'm going to go on my furniture, which is really naughty. Don't tell anybody I'm on my couch because I'm looking for more children. I spot Hansel and Gretel coming for the landing. Oh, landing. And get them to follow you. Get them to follow you round. If you want to take them back to your house, get them round. I'm going to start again. Push that broomstick. Circle it round. Good, push it up. Your power's in your room. Back down, we're going to go flying the other way. Now, if you've got furniture there, you're not allowed to go on. Don't do that, but I'm feeling a bit naughty this morning. I'm flying around my couch. Looking, I'm looking. I spot some. Coming in for the landing. Woo! Get them to follow you. Come on. Get them around there. Get them to go the other way. Get them. And then get them on the broomstick and you're going to fly back. And I'm going to fly back to Karen. Ready, Karen, I'm flying in. Here I come, I'm flying to you. Karen, can you see me? Yeah, I can definitely see you and I've got my broomstick as well. And I need to call the help of Aga, who is going to help us get on these broomsticks with the witch. Hi, Aga. Hello, Karen. Yes, we need to sing the witch's song, which you heard a little bit from that was from what we call an prelude, a prelude, a bit before an act of the opera. You heard a little bit when you were dancing with your broomstick. So you need to keep hold of your broomstick for this bit, okay? And this song goes, so hop, 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 and you're going to hop to the side, yeah? So you've got, so hop, hop, hop. Can we do that? One, two, three. So hop, hop, hop. Beautiful. And then you've got galop, lop, lop. You can go to the other side. Galop, lop, lop. Beautiful. Can we go? So hop, hop, hop. Galop, lop, lop. Ready? One, two, three, four. So hop, hop, hop. Galop, lop, lop. Beautiful. Lots of lovely, lovely peas. Then you've got my broomstick nag. Yeah, hold your broomstick in front of you. My broomstick nag. One, two. My broomstick nag. Good. Then you've got come do not lag. You're going to go from side to side. Come do not lag. One, two. Come do not lag. Good. So can we go back to my broomstick? 
my broomstick knock, come do not lack. Yes, my broomstick knock, no, come do not lack. Hold the broomstick, one, two. My broomstick knock, come do not lack. Good. Back to from hop to hop, hop, hop. One, two, three, four. So hop, hop, hop. Galop, lop, lop. My broomstick knock, come do not lack. Good. Next bit goes at dawn of day. And we're going to do. Beautiful, celebrate, celebrate this glorious day. <laughs> At dawn of day, good. Then you've got, I ride away, I ride away. Can we put those two bits together? At dawn of day, I ride away. One, two. At dawn of day, I ride away. I'm here and there. I'm here and there. Yeah, good. I'm here and there and everywhere. Beautiful. At dawn of day, I ride away. I'm here and there and everywhere. One, two. At dawn of day, I ride away. I'm here and there and everywhere. Beautiful. Now, let's go from the top. Just go through those words. So hop, 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 you know, hop, hop, hop. Galop, lop, lop. My broomstick nag, come do not lag. At dawn of day, I ride away. I'm here and there and everywhere. Beautiful. I'm going to go on the piano, follow the Natasha for the actions. We're going at a decent, steady pace. Get your broomstick if you've got one ready. And I'll give you one, two, three, four, and then you straighten. Yes, there we go. One, two, three, four. So hop, 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 galop, lop, lop. My broomstick now, come to me now. I don't know, day, I ride away. I'm here and there and everywhere. Beautiful. What a, what a wonderful witch. So oh, wonderful. Thank you, Aga. So we're coming to the end of our Monday motivation. And just so you know, the witch does capture the children and she cooks all captured children, which there seems to be quite a lot in this wood, and makes them into gingerbread. Unbelievable. But the saviour of the day is the wonderful Gretel and she outwits this witch and the oven explodes and all the children come out they're not gingerbread anymore. And you can imagine how happy all their parents are to see them. It has been great having you all with us this morning, singing along with Aga and also dancing with Natasha. And thank you, Stephanie and Katrina for being with us this morning. It's been such a joy to, to hear you both together. And also thank you for playing so many roles for us. See you next week for Monday Motivation. Bye.